Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you are a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Glossier and Glossier have launched a foundation that I managed to pick up a while ago hadn't had a chance to film so I'm going to do a kind of glossier video today touching on the foundation the brush that comes with it as well as some blushes that I picked up that were new at the time I'm also going to talk about some other bits and pieces that I picked up I'm just going to demonstrate for you today the first thing I want to talk to you about is their foundation so their stretch fluid foundation looks like this I picked up the color medium tan 2 I was color matched after having attended an event at a roller skating place in London. I learned to roller skate which was not the most easiest thing to do when you're in your 40s but I was colour matched at the event and then I picked up both of these at their shop in Covent Garden. It comes in 32 shades from very deep deep medium deep medium tan medium light and very light. It retails for £34. It's meant to have 89% skincare based gel cream foundation that leaves skin looking moisturised with a natural to you finish formulated to fuse with skin never cake on top to blend seamlessly and wear up to 12 hours it's meant to be crease resistant transfer resistant sweat resistant cruelty free and vegan dermatologist tested formulated without fragrance and non comedogenic and there's 30 ml of product medium tan 2 is medium tan with neutral undertone which should be my exact color match so very very excited there is also a brush it's the glossier stretch face brush it retails for 28 pounds it's meant to work with the foundation. It's palm held seamless application. So the curve shape glides across the contours of your face for an easy streak free finish with short dense super soft bristles for buffing. A targeted tip for those hard to blend areas and swivel cover. It's your new grab and go to face brush. So it's made with the undyed synthetic hair and it's vegan and it is a blender diffuse brush. So I'm going to use that with the foundation and show you how that is today. So let's take a look first. So it's in the box so let me take it out of the box I did do a kind of early test when I was playing around with it but this is how it looks it's in a bottle which is really nice actually I thought it was going to be in a kind of plastic container but this was actually in a glass bottle so I'm going to give it a bit of a shake just so that the mixture is all moving around but you've got glossiers written all the way across like that and it's a glass bottle. Feels solid, feels secure. So I'm gonna do a couple of pumps and we're gonna put it on the face. This is the brush. So I'm gonna use the brush to apply it. The brush is made in China. The foundation is made in the USA and there is a shelf life on the foundation of 12 months. Before I put the foundation on, I'm just gonna show you how this works, this brush. So basically it clicks into place and then you twist it that is how the brush looks so got a curve and I'm presuming this will help to get into areas of the face where you need the foundation to go once you finish with it you flip it and you close it so it's meant to be kind of like a travel friendly type of brush I guess excited to see how this works so I just took a photograph of it and it actually reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> I don't play Pokemon, but it looks like one of those Pokemon things that you can get. But anyway, let's try this together. I'm just going to put like two pumps. Let's just show you the texture first. That is the texture. You can see that it's quite thick, which is quite surprising. I thought it was going to be a little bit more thinner if it was going to be a more kind of medium finish but you know let's see the coverage let's give it a chance I think the best thing to do is just do a hand swatch so you can see how the color looks on my hand but you can see that it's a pretty good match so let's apply it I've got my brush here and we're going to go into the color so I'm just taking the product and applying it directly. All I have is just skincare. It goes into the contours of my face really well, this brush. Can you see that? It's sort of giving it a nice sort of sheen. So that's just one pump. Feels nice and light. 
I don't smell a fragrance of any kind. Feels very nice and light actually. So I'm gonna put another layer on now, but I've used all the product on the brush. I like the way that I can get into different areas of my face with it. Curious as to how I'm gonna wash it, but I'm sure I'll be able to. That's how it looks with the product on it. I'm just gonna apply another pump, just taking the product and then putting it on the more center part of my face where I like the most coverage. I could see myself using this brush if I was away and I just wanted something easy to apply the product with and you can use it with any foundation. So what I've done is taken the product to the center of my face more than the outside and I'm just pushing it out to the outside now because that's where I usually need the most coverage. I like the way this helps distribute the product. So it's not all in one area. You can pretty much use the brush to disperse the product around the face. So I kind of like that. So this is with two pumps. I'm just using up all the product on here. It's a very cool contraption. Feels quite calming actually. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I think that's a perfect match in terms of where my skin tone is right now. I haven't gone too much into the sun, but I like this already. It feels really, really nice and light. I love the fact there isn't a, a scent. There's no scent at all. So this is really good for people that don't want something with a scent. But yeah, this is the finish so far. I mean, you can see a bit of a blemish there still, so it's not completely full coverage. I'd say it's medium or light to medium because you can still see like elements of my face. I just double checked the description and it's light to medium, so it's exactly what I said it was. I prefer it to their tint. I don't know if you remember when they first came out, they had this sort of really, really light tint and I don't think it gave that much coverage, whereas I think this one has more, which is good. This is how it looks so far, so let me get in a bit closer. Very nice, very natural, which I think it's what it says on the tin. So, so I thought I'd show you a few of their blush and lip products today, and that's just so that I can let this foundation sit and I'll give you my feedback on how it sat throughout the day. So the first thing I wanna show you is their Glossier Wild Fig Balm .com. So this is their, I'd call it like their lip balm, and it usually has a little bit of a tint to it. So this is a wild fig one. I don't remember it being like that, the tip. I'm glad it is, because it's better. So I just go like this, and I'm just gonna prep my lips a bit. It gives it this lovely sort of finish. The thing with Glossier products is it's very natural, so it's lovely if you just want something light. So I'm gonna let that kind of prep my lips whilst I show you the blush, and then we're gonna go back to my lips it feels really lovely on and there's a lovely scent to it. I like this one, very, very nice. So I've picked up two of their blushes. I've got Wisp, which is one of their cloud paints and I've got Saw. So what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit on each side so you can see how they look. So we'll start off with Wisp. So this is cool toned. I thought this would look really lovely on my skin tone. This is one of my favorite products from Glossier. I think that it's such a clever concept of putting blush on. And they actually advise you to use your fingertips. So I'm gonna use my fingertips for this and I'm gonna take their product. Oh, it comes up quite a fair bit. So yeah, just take out what comes out. That's the shade Wisp. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of Wisp on the apples of my cheek. That's a gorgeous shade. What's really nice about this is it's a very natural, buildable type of consistency, these cloud paints. That's what I've always loved about these. And you can see there that the color is there. What's nice is there's also a shift, which is really, really nice, which I wasn't expecting with these blushes. So I'm gonna add a tad bit more. Gone in again. You get 10 mil of product in each of these tubes, FYI. So, so cute. Great for the handbag. 
and I'm just tapping the colour in and this is kind of like my type of shade that I like when I just want like a cool toned blush. I think I might have gone a little bit crazy on the blush but I really wanted to show you how it looks so what I'll do is I will take a little bit of that other brush but I just wanted to pat that in and show you so that's kind of like two times the amount but you can see that you can build and you can make it more intense which is what this is now. What I'm going to do is just take this brush and just go around the areas where I think I might have gone a little bit too much. That's perfect. So you can see that this is a gorgeous gorgeous sort of cool tone pink shade and the kind of colour that I love to wear. So so pretty. So this is Wisp. We've got Wisp on this side and on this side we're now going to try Saw. And Saw is a bit more of a kind of pinky shade. So this is the cloud paint in the colour Saw. So I'm just going to take my little finger again. So this is the shade Saw. What I'll do is after I've done this I'll do some swatches so you can see how it looks. But this one's quite pigmented so I don't know if we need to go in twice. But you can see that against my skin tone it's really gorgeous. I think this one's a little bit lighter whereas this one is a bit more intense. But they're both beautiful shades and I kind of feel like I only just need one application for this one because you can see it already. But you can see the difference in the shade. This one's a little bit more impactful but still gorgeous. So this is Saw. Gorgeous shade. And that one is Wisp which I really like too. I felt like I needed to go in twice with that one. This one, just the once, was fine. If you feel like you've gone a little bit too much, take your brush that has your foundation on and just tap it around where you want to fix it, which is what I'm doing. And yeah, they're gorgeous in very different ways. I like them, both of them. Okay, so let's quickly do hand swatches of those two. So here are the two hand swatches. This one is Wisp, which is the one that I put on my left cheek, and this one is Saw, which is the one I put on my right cheek. So you can see when I swatch it that Wisp is a little bit more cooler in tone, but it's also more purpley, actually. It doesn't appear as purple for me, but kind of looks more kind of pinky on my skin. But this is the shade Wisp and the shade Saw. Beautiful shades. For the foundation, I just thought I'd read what's written at the back. It says light to medium coverage, natural finish. Apply one to two pumps onto clean, moisturized skin and blend for a seamless finish. Add more for extra coverage. The top ingredient is water, which is always a good sign for this kind of coverage. In terms of how the blusher is kind of working with the foundation, it beautiful so I just thought I'd show you that. These are the two shades from their G Suit range and I did a review on one of their shades which I got complimentary which is their Jet colour but I actually picked up two of their shades myself so the two shades I picked up were Curve and Strike so I thought I'd show you that today whilst we are kind of testing this foundation out. So Curve 6 ml of product is soft touch lip cream and it says use the applicator to line lips and then fill in for bold velvety colour. So I really liked the Jet. I thought that the consistency was lovely and the colour was just perfect. G Suit, and this shade is the shade Curve, is more of a nude shade. So there's a doe foot. I'll quickly do a hand swatch before I apply it. So this is the shade Curve, which is a gorgeous kind of nude shade, but has a little bit of kind of warmth to it. So it should be quite uplifting on my lips. Okay, so let's apply the colour Curve. Oh, that's really nice shade. And the formula feels very soft and velvety. That's a lovely shade. You can use kind of the tip of the doe foot to line your lips before you apply it. I didn't really do that until the end, but you can do that at the beginning, but this is the colour curve and yeah, it's really cute and very much everyday type of shade. So this is Curve with Wisp on this side. And this is Curve with Saw. It's gorgeous. 
I'm liking the way this foundation feels. It doesn't feel tacky, but it does feel like I can feel the foundation sort of when I touch it. But I mean, most foundations you'll be able to feel it. I'm interested in the transfer proof thing to see whether or not it would transfer because I've got a white t-shirt on today. So I'm interested to see whether this will transfer or whether it needs some time to dry first. This is the lip color and yeah, gorgeous. This is Curve. Okay, so let's move on to the next shade. This is the shade Strike. Definitely more of a orange tone, kind of burnt orange shade, which will look gorgeous with a tan. It's gonna be the chance for me to try it today. Glad I've got kind of three different types of shades. I've got the Jet shade, which is red, the one that I just tried on, which is more of a neutral shade, and then I've got this sort of more orangey color, which is gonna look gorgeous, I think. I think maybe I'll try and find a pink at some point. Then I'll have like a bit more of a selection, but let's take a look at this one. This is the Doe Foot, this is the shade Strike. Now I'm just gonna do a quick hand swatch for you. So this is the shade Strike. Yep, yeah, you can see that it's definitely a burnt orange type shade. Perfect for the summertime. So let's put this shade on. I'm just going to line it now using the doe foot. Yeah, I like that because it's a little bit less messy. It's definitely more brighter than I thought it would be based on how it looked in the tube. It's got more of a kind of vibrancy to it. Still really lovely though. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. A more orangey shade, but like kind of more bold. So if you're looking for kind of like a bold orange, then this will be the way to go. I mean, I'm loving the way the foundation is still looking. It's still looking really lovely on my skin, just an FYI, but I will check in today, but so far so good. And I am loving this kind of bold orange, which is something that I don't really have a lot of. I think the closest thing I can think of, but it's not the same formula, is probably the Hermes lipsticks, where they're quite bold. I did do a similar shade called Orange Neon recently, but I feel like this one's even more bold and the formula is different. So if you're curious if they're the same, that's the difference, I'd say. This one feels more creamy and the other one is more of a kind of lipstick formula. This one is more like a liquid lipstick with a boldness that is a little bit different to the other shades. So, so this is the shade Strike. Well, that is my review for the moment of some new products from Glossier. I am going to give you my thoughts throughout the day how the foundation has fared. So far, so good. I'm loving the way it looks on camera. It looks very natural, which is what I was hoping it would do. With the lipstick, I've only added a few bits. I haven't even added mascara or liner. I wanted to kind of really let this foundation just shine for you today so you could see. And I have obviously the blush, so you can see there's blush still on my cheeks but in terms of the way it feels so far it feels very light to the foundation it doesn't feel heavy and that's the kind of thing I want when I want a light foundation every day so I think if you're looking for something every day this is probably going to be good for you so I'm just doing a quick check-in as I'm just about to film another video and I just wanted to show you the foundation and it's looking really gorgeous still it's a really lovely light foundation I took my t-shirt off and checked and there was no no transfer which is what they promised so so far so good with this Glossier foundation so what I'm going to do now is just about to start filming another video it's been two hours since I've had this on so I'll do another check-in with you as well but so far so good loving it so I'd quickly show you my four hour check-in of the Glossier foundation. Um, obviously I've done a makeover, so I have some makeup on top of the foundation, but I just wanted to show you how it's looking. It still looks very natural. I did put some powder on my T-zone. That has helped a little bit. In terms of how it's looking, it's still looking very, very natural. 
So I thought I'd give you an update. This is now six hours after I have applied the foundation. It's still looking really, really nice. I can see that my skin still looks really kind of glowy still and has a lovely finish, very natural. I will check in again and let you know how I'm getting on. So this is a almost eight hour check-in of the Glossier foundation. Still looking really nice. I think this might be my last check-in because I don't think it's going to change this much between now and midnight. But I think it's really, really nice still. And I'm surprised that it's still kind of got the coverage. I think the T-zone will always be an issue for me. It will always get oily. But other than that, it's really nice. The lipsticks are gorgeous. This is Strike and it's a gorgeous shade as well as Curve, which I showed you earlier. I love the two blushes. Wisp has a sort of cool tone to it. Like I said, it comes out purple, but comes out more pink on me. And then on this side, it's definitely more true to how it looks as it comes out. Those are my initial thoughts. I'm loving what I've got on so far. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave your comments and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.